Hey Gemini, this is your look at the astrology of January 2021. My name is Katie Sweetman. I'm with Empowering Astrology. I'm a astrologer and psychic medium here in Brooklyn, New York. So normally I've been writing these horoscopes, but you know uh, this is the first time we are doing video scopes uh, moving forward. And in, in, in many ways, this is a keeping of a theme that's happening throughout 2021, especially January of 2021, which is sort of this moving away from the the old to the new and sort of the friction and sort of the back and forth and the tug between the old and the new. So Gemini, we need to recap a little bit because a month is never this standalone event. It's part of these bigger arcs of time, these bigger stories, these bigger chapters. And as you go into January, you know, life may be a bit interesting at the moment. Why? Because you just had eclipses. You had eclipses in, in uh, 30th of November. There were was a an eclipse in Gemini is a lunar eclipse and Gemini and then 14th of December there was a solar eclipse in Sagittarius so you obviously are Gemini Sagittarius is your relationship sign so you might be seeing a lot of things happening right now in the relationship department or even you new beginnings going in new directions um, that said we have to sort of look at where you've been in addition to all this and it's Capricorn season this month primarily the Sun is in Capricorn which means it's in the part of your chart we'll call it the eighth room of your astrology house a room that you've been spending or had been spending a lot of time in in 2018 2019 2020 it's not an easy room it's a room where you have to go and face yourself so you were doing a lot of deep deep psychological work and transformation in the past few years. So now that the sun is back there, you might see some themes, some echoes, some familiar feelings that you had back the past couple of years. You know, like I said, it wasn't an easy time, but it is a time to sort of, you know, look at what exactly you accomplished, what exactly you transformed, what, where, where do you see the the distance that you've covered emotionally and psychically in the last year, or even the last three years? Um, there will be a Capricorn new moon in this part of your chart on January 13th. So just keep this in mind because this moon will be, we say astrology, conjunct Pluto. It's like the new moon is in the same part of the sky as Pluto. And I mean, this is for everybody they're going to be experiencing this. Um, but Pluto is a planet that wants to, especially in Capricorn, dismantle. It wants to further do some emotional and psychic dismantling. The difference is, is that Saturn is no longer in Capricorn. Saturn is no longer in this room. It's in another room. And so there's this dynamic tension that's happening in 20 you know, January 2021. And that tension is very existential in nature. We all have to go through the eighth room. It's a necessary room in life. Like I said, it's a room we have to face ourselves. We have to go deep. And it's in this room that we gain wisdom. And when you go from the eighth room to the ninth room in your astrology house, the ninth room is the room of wisdom. And that's where Saturn is now. It went there December 17th of 2020. So you're in this time where you have to really figure out what you believe in. After all the possible and you know, like quite likely painful things that you've been through the last few years, how has it shaped what you believe in? How you see the world? What do you think is possible? Do you still need to dismantle a lot of old beliefs that are holding you back? This is why there's still this, you know, kind of cleaning up and wrapping up this month of a story that was going on the past few years. So Saturn is now in your ninth room. It's about faith and truth and meaning. It's about looking out into the world. It would be about foreign travel as well. We can't do a lot of traveling these days or long distance journeys. And maybe you're doing that symbolically in other ways. Maybe you're thinking about going back to school. This is an education room in your house, in your astrology house. And then there's the other side of things. So this month, starting March, not March, goodness, January 6th, Mars, that's where I got the March part from, Mars now is going to be in Taurus uh, on the 6th of January, if I didn't say that already. So Taurus forms the last 
part of your chart. We'll then call it like the last room in your astrology house. And Taurus has been there. Mars has been there. No, backing up. Uranus has been there since March of 2019. That's maybe that's why I have March on the brain. So Uranus has been in this one particular room of your house since March of 2019. And this room, we'll call it the 12th room, is a very quiet room. It's an invisible room. It's a very spiritual room. And you've needed to awaken to parts of yourself that you didn't even knew exist. So now that Mars is there, it really activates this dynamic tension between faith. Now, the ninth room in your astrology house is faith, but it's external faith. It's faith that is um, informed by the world, informed by books, informed by philosophy, informed by religion, informed by what people teach us and tell us. But this is also about internal faith, the inner search, the inner wisdom. What do you find within? So it's sort of this push-pull throughout January and quite honestly throughout 2021 in general between these kind of deeper existential questions like why am I here? What is this what is this all worth? Why why am I doing this? Um, so you might be really doing a lot of soul searching this month. You know, especially as Mars makes what's called a square to Saturn on the 13th of January. I already talked about the Capricorn moon that's also on the 13th of January. Uranus turns direct. You know, it's been retrograde, I think, since September. Don't quote me on that. Um, Mars turns, uh, Uranus turns direct on January 14th. So, something that's been brewing behind the scenes or deep in your psyche or deep in your unconscious or deep in your dreams, deep in your spirituality sort of maybe comes up and maybe there's there's a powerful awakening and there's a powerful light bulb that goes off. You know, that said, you know, that once the sun starts to get into Aquarius, I think it's around the 21st of January, don't quote me on that, maybe plus or minus a day. Um, we also have Mars also conjunct Uranus on January 20th. Um, things are going to get a little interesting in the last couple of weeks of January. And if I didn't say this already, um, there's some really tough astrology in January 2021. And you're not in the same place as some of the other signs the other signs are more front and center. This is sort of happening in an area that, that's a little bit more about what you believe in, these sort of intangible things. Um, that said, you know, there's going to be a full moon on the 28th of January. That full moon is lighting up a part of your chart that talks about voice and communication and information and ideas and travel. Should that be appropriate, of course. Um, so you might be needing to make some decisions in regards to education. And um, maybe something about ideas and information are really highlighted at that time. But there is this really strong astrology configuration that's happening at the end of this month. And if you're not sure what you believe in, or maybe you believe in something, but Maybe it's something that happens at the end of this month that really shifts and shakes and changes or opens a new way of thinking. And maybe it's radical. Maybe you thought the world was one way before and it, now it's another way. So my recommendation, uh, uh, Gemini, is that you spend some time within this month, you do some meditation, you do a walk, you do some reflection, you sort of pay attention to your dreams. What is your intuition telling you? What are other people telling you? Where's, where's the rub? Where's the conflict? Um, where's the internal conflict? Because there seems to be some sort of internal, external conflict that's happening between trying to figure out what this all means. And to be fair, do we ever truly know? So this is a big month, Gemini. It's very different than some of the other signs, but do some writing, do some journaling, um, try to get a sense of what's going on in your head. To be fair, a lot is usually going on in your head. So you can start to see something that just awakens you in some way. So again, my name is Katie Sweetman. This is Empowering Astrology. You can follow me, empoweringastrology.com. Um, till the next month, take care. Bye.